We're at Bayless Hatchery in St. Stephen watching our fisheries biologists and technicians spawn striped bass. Approximately 30 hours prior to spawning, staff inject an adult fertile female striped bass, also known as broodfish, with a hormone to induce ovulation. Staff then periodically check the broodfish for eggs. Once they see that a female is ready, she's taken from her holding tank and sedated using electroshock anesthesia. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt the fish. Sedation makes them easier to handle. Once the female fish has been anesthetized, she's brought to the spawning table. It takes three people to spawn a striped bass. One person holds her mouth, the second holds her tail, and the third gently squeezes along her abdomen to remove the eggs. A 12-pound fish can produce up to 1 million eggs at a time. In the background, you can see SCDNR biologists collect data about each female that has spawned. Once they're done, females are placed into recovery tanks and later released back into the river. The eggs are then divided equally into three containers. Each batch of eggs will be fertilized by a separate male striped bass to ensure genetic diversity. The female's eggs are mixed with the male's milt while water is added and stirred using a turkey feather. This process is gentle enough to prevent the eggs from breaking. Once fertilized, the eggs are transferred into hatching jars, which typically hatch within 48 hours. Bayless Hatchery produces, on average, about 12 million striped bass fry per year. You can visit this hatchery to see the process in person.